got no idea who ratted out the spa, right? One of my suspicions. Yeah, me too. Oh. You might not want to hear this, but I can't help but think maybe a girl had a hand. I think Davina gave up rock statues? Shut, shut the, the go. I'm sorry, Juju said Davina. Right. With Buck, she got connects to Unique, and you said she rolled through the spot. You know what the f was? It didn't like I invited her in there. Whatever, man, I'm just saying. Scrappy. He calling it sick the same day we get hit, and he showed me some new Jordans. He's a f rat. Scrappy, one of the most loyal soldiers your mom's got. He practically family. Secrets you don't want to know. I know your secrets, too. I suggest you watch your f mouth. You think I'm scared of you? You're king. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Power Book 3 raising Kanan. Your boy Kanan is blinded. He is blinded by Davina over the truth of the stash house. This dude is lusting over Davina, and it's getting to him, y'all. I mean... He sprung, and he ain't even hit yet. And that's the crazy part about this. At the end of the day, we know your boy Kanan is young. He is 15. Davina is his biggest little crush. So, of course, you know, I honestly believe he does not want to believe the truth. But deep down inside, he knows that this could be a reality, right? So we're going to be talking about that in this video. You guys, make sure you checked out my last few videos I've been dropping. Um, of course, earlier in the day, I dropped... The BMF video, your boy Eminem will be playing white boy Rick. I know a lot of people was asking and saying that Eminem is too old to play white boy Rick. I told you guys in the video, if you watch the video, that they're going to be using a digital de-aging technology. This is the same technology that they used in the movie Irishman with uh, Robert De Niro. So they use this technology and it makes you look younger. So all the people out there are just saying he's too old. Well, this technology is going to be able to take him back to his teenage years. Trust me, just wait until the show comes out until you see it. It's going to deliver. I have, no, like I said in the video, I have no concerns at all that they're not going to give us some great content. But let's just get into it, man. We're talking about your girl Davina, your boy Kanan, Jukebox, the Stash House. It's all over the place, right? Because we know your boy Kanan, he is blinded because he's so in love with Davina. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to be his weakness. And it's already his weakness right now. It's already his weakness. So we know in this last episode, but even far back than that, we've been talking about Davina and her giving up information to your boy Unique. We knew about this. This was a theory that we talked about over a month ago. We knew it was going to happen eventually. Now, in the last episode, Kanan finally had the conversation with Jukebox because Jukebox, she brought it up. And when Jukebox brought it up, it's not like she just said, oh, Davina is a rat, she told. She actually gave out good evidence. And we already know what this evidence is. Davina is connected to Buck 20. Buck 20 is a part of, well, he was a part of Unique's crew. So Davina is connected to Unique. So it makes all the sense in the world for Davina to possibly tell unique information about the stash house, especially since she was sitting outside of the stash house. But Kanan doesn't want to see that. He's you no know, pretty much disrespecting his cousin, um, telling her she needs to watch her mouth. He knows her secrets. And I guess he just got mad based off the facts that Jukebox was giving him. I mean, facts about Scrappy being loyal, because we know that's the case, you know. Crappy is like family, as she said. He's been loyal. He won't just switch up all of a sudden. It makes no sense. But Kanan doesn't want to see that. Now, Jukebox did tell him, look, there are secrets, secrets in this family that you don't want to know. And we already know what that secret is. See, when Kanan finds out the truth about D-Wiz and about what really happened, he's going to be heartbroken. Once again, he can't take, I don't believe your boy Kanan can even handle the truth, to be honest. Now, I'm pretty sure deep down in his, you know, in his soul, he kind of thinks that certain things could happen as far as his mom setting up D-Wiz. But see, Kanan 
I believe he lets things blind him, man. Um, eventually, Jukebox will tell him, in my opinion, that she saw Uncle Lulu pick him up. But then again, we just got to wait and see how it's all going to play out. Because we know that Jukebox and Uncle Lulu, they got a good connection right now with the whole music thing. But Kanan, he needs to know the truth. Um, because he's going around making stupid mistakes based off assumptions. He thinks he knows everything. And he's going to continue to make these mistakes over and over and over. He thinks that Scrappy was the one that ratted him out. But it was Davina. See, you're blinded by her, man. You like her so much. And I've been reading, you guys have been saying, yes, he's 15. He, you know, he's going to do stupid stuff. Yes, he is. I mean, I understand that he will do stupid things, but still, Kanan, you brought her to the stash house when Scrappy told you. He told you don't do it because things like this could happen. So, of course, Kanan thought it was the great idea to go approach Scrappy. And Scrappy had to show him, like, look, you need to choose your battles wisely. You have to do that because if you're going to go up against me, just remember that this is grown man business. So Kanan, he decided to pick that fight with Scrappy and Scrappy had your boy leaking, had him leaking, right? And this is just part of all the mistakes and part of the new mistakes that Kanan is going to continue to make. He's going to continue to make these mistakes. As I told you guys, eventually these mistakes have to stop. They have to be minimized at least. These huge mistakes, they can cost a whole lot of people a lot of money and it can cost a whole lot of people their lives. We saw that already in the past with Buck 20 because Kanan thought those corners was his mom not realizing the truth that she already made a deal with Unique. So Kanan, he needs to start getting actual evidence, actual facts before he goes out there and starts to act. And that's what he's been doing so far throughout the whole season. He thinks he knows something, then he goes out there and he does an action. And then it comes back to biting, you know. And that's what probably going to continue to happen until he starts to do his homework. Not just in school, but on the streets. You have to start listening. And the last thing that you want to be doing is, you know, disrespecting Jukebox. He's looking out for you. And like I told you guys, it ain't like Jukebox just was being disrespectful she was actually giving him good examples and good evidence on why Davina could be the one that gave up the whole stash house it was great examples and the sad thing is those examples was facts so Kanan he don't want to see that he wants to think that Davina is an angel she had nothing to do with it you know what I'm saying like come on man like really like you got a lot to learn ask Scrappy told him everybody's in the game everybody's in the game just because Davina ain't out on the corners selling drugs shooting up people that don't mean anything she is connected to people that's in the game and you know this but you want to get with her so bad you're just blinded now you guys let me know man how long will your boy Kanan continue to make these mistakes over Davina because deep down inside we know Kanan let's just be 100% honest y'all we know Kanan when he shot Buck 20, deep down inside, he was like, yeah, I got him. Davina, my girl. It wasn't just about his moms. It wasn't just about rocking the corners. It was about her, too. You know what I'm saying? Because when they first showed Buck 20, Kanan was like, F Buck 20. He wanted him out of the picture. And by him seeing him, seeing him on those corners, that was more emotive for Kanan in his heart. Like, yes, he is doing this, still in my mom's corner. He already got my girl. This dude got to go. You know what I'm saying? This is what Kanan and how Kanan thinks, in my opinion. And we're going to see exactly what Kanan does. The sad part is, I want to see how he reacts when he finds out the truth that Davina was the rat. What you going to do now? What you going to do? Are you going to go approach her? Are you going to let her know the truth? You know what I'm saying? Are you going to check her like you checked Jukebox and disrespected Jukebox? You're going to have to do something. When you find out the truth and when he finds out the truth, I hope he goes and he makes an apology to his cousin Jukebox because for him to be doing that stuff, whereas Jukebox didn't do anything to the dude, it's completely messed up. But um, we're going to see how it all is going to unfold. He still has a lot to learn. Remember, the show is called Raising Canaan, and this dude is definitely, definitely going through a life lesson, and he's going through so many mistakes. But um, thank you guys for all the love. All the support. I will continue to drop Raising Candy videos all week long. 
Um, follow the playlist. And as I said, just keep supporting your boy, man. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.